Hello, and welcome back to our No Man's Sky Let's Play Poorly. Here we are, outside of our cute little ship. And what are we going to do? We're go we got to go to our base, I think, is our next step. we got to go to our base. We've got some things to do. So I am recording this on, what's today? June 6, 2022. And there's just been an announcement from Apple that No Man's Sky is coming to the M-Series uh, hardware that they are doing, which is going to be iPads and uh, their laptops and their desktops, all the, all the M1, M2 stuff because they're the new metal APIs, which is really exciting. No Man's Sky and a few other things, but obviously once we're playing No Man's Sky right now, that's the cool part. Oh, what do we got here? Artemis! Is it first? Is it last? Priest Entity Nada. Oh. You have their signal, but you are not Artemis Entity? Tell the truth. We have been in contact before, I think. This would be a good time to come aboard, yes? Proper introduction to our home. Uh, okay, that would be nice, but where? Uh, but yeah, so, so that's pretty cool that there's going to be... No Man's Sky on Macs and iPads. I'm uh, very excited about that. I won't be playing it that way, uh, most likely. I have an iPad and I have a Mac, which are my primary work uh, work devices. I have a Windows computer just for uh, playing games. But it's going to be nice for uh, people, to, pe people who only have Macs to be able to play No Man's Sky. It's a really fun game. It's very chill. It's very Mac-like in terms of just like what it's like, and it's you know not a super combaty thing. And Apple always likes to prioritize when they talk about games. They like to showcase their non-violent games because Apple is a little bit of a prude when it comes to that sort of thing. Um, but you know, anything anything is anything is better than than nothing, right? Well, that sounded awful. Everything is good. I'm, I'm glad we're going to get No Man's Sky. Uh, and it would be great if that was a first step into getting a whole lot of other things. I think Resident Evil 4, maybe? Was that what I was seeing? So hopefully it's the first of many. But I am very, very happy that No Man's Sky is going to be the first. They really deserve it. Hello Games, that is. Apple really deserves it. Players really deserve it. It's a great game. All right, we got a planetary trailer. Wait, 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 wait. Hmm, oh god, now we've got decisions to make, don't we? We could go do that, or we could go to the base computer, which is what we need to do next, or... We could do this, we could do... Oh, there's so many things to do. You know what, we'll, st we'll stay in the system first. We'll do this. But yeah, that's very exciting. I do hope that that opens the... Uh, opens the door to a lot of other games on the Mac. There are a lot of games on the Mac, but not. Uh, it, it's kind of piecemeal how many of them show up in any given year. A lot of them are older ports. Uh, obviously, No Man's Sky would also be a, technically an older port, but hopefully this does mean that we're going to get some new ones. Oh, shit. That's not where I wanted to be. That is not... Oh, but that's the anomaly. Okay. I thought that was the planetary chart thing. Goes to show, I don't know everything. <laughs> uh, we'll, we'll use that at some point. Oh, that's right, we didn't activate it. Okay, so, teleport receiver. No, I need to remember... I need to remember that I have to make the... Um, the hazmat gauntlet, I think. That's the main thing that I want right now. All right, is there a way to do this from here? To, to set the blueprint down? Shoot. I know there's a way to do this, but I don't remember how. All right, fine, no big deal. Let's go to the anomaly. I 
No. Log. Alright, that is that is the one we're on. Okay. There we go. The up the update to the game that brought this around was fucking fantastic. This is now true multiplayer. I think it's on shards is kind of how they do it, but this is awesome. The, all those little, all those ships with the diamonds, and all those little people with the diamonds, those are in fact other players, which you know isn't very mind-boggling when you've got a whole lot of multiplayer games out there and MMOs and so forth. But for, for No Man's Sky, for which for two years didn't have anything like that, um, this is this is kind of incredible. So all right. Yeah, all right. These guys. Priest Entity Nada. Welcome to our anomaly. Polo's own design. So, we should ask about Artemis. Whoever you are, you're making this awkward, dude. <laughs> Traveler Entity, perhaps they are known to you. I do not know their number. Nada does not care to think about iterations as numbers. They were lost to us. Our anomaly is lost to the Sentinels, but none should be lost to the anomaly. Hmm. Ask about Nada. He woke with the death of Korvax Prime. Could not understand why such things happen. Why we are alone. Now I am divergent. The convergence does not see through my eyes. So, my understanding vaguely is that the Korvax all share a, a general mind, or at least are networked, and this guy is not connected to that network. Now he is with Polo Friend and other friends visit. Our convergence is small, but Nada is happy. Yeah, something that's familiar about him though. That's the thing, is like, uh, has he seen us before? Have we seen him before? We don't know. Let's ask about Polo. He found Nada, found his signal. Nada is safe, now Nada finds other signals and makes others safe. Awesome. The station has been calling to me since I woke up on the planet. Perhaps it called to Artemis as well. Beyond what is outside, our anomaly wanders free. Free like Nada to observe, to search. The Sentinels, the Atlas, they do not care for this place. I feel their eyes hunting us. Wow, okay, let's speak to Polo. Hey, Polo. Friends everywhere. If, you only, if only you know where to look. Ah, I love it. Artemis friend, you are where they should be. Do not, does not seem possible, but all things are possible. Such is the universe. We will find them, no doubt. There is always a signal, always a trace. Let's find out how. When you leave, you will not be where you were. You will be closer. Or maybe not. Discovery is exciting, yes? Okay, so maybe we should spend some time with other friends. We all help each other here. So the idea is that all these people... Oh, uh, space anomaly. There we go. These guys, we can play with them. We can play, put them into in, in groups and, uh, and team up and do missions and shit. Which I've never done because I, uh, I don't play with other people generally. So that is okay. So we can explore the anomaly. Let's go visit Helios. There he is. You look like a tree, dude. Ah, young one. You who still roam the boundaries of this universe. So he has not been out in reality for a while. Maybe we should share things we've seen. Yeah, all right. Let's give some data on planets. Excellent. We take the nanites. Now we can learn technological technology blueprints. So we can do that over here. And all of these consoles are different technology elements, different uh, categories. So let's uh, let's go do this one here. Exosuit research. Okay. Let's research some upgrades. 
And these all cost nanites. We've got almost 1,200, so we can spare a few. Hazmat gauntlet. Ah, I don't have that ability yet. That's what it is. I didn't have the ability to make that, but now I will. Yay! Okay, let's, uh... Let's, let's talk to him again. Maybe get something else. Simple translator. Records and parses nearby conversations before running the data through a contextual learning system to determine the intended meaning. So that just requires a wiring loom. I'm not really sure how this works, but that's okay. We don't need it right now. There's a personal refiner, which we'll use at some point. We'll get that eventually. Rocket boots, jets, all of these great things, which over time, over time. Aha, construction research station. There we go. And now this uses salvage data to get parts that we can build for our, for our base. So salvage data is stuff that we have to grab, we have to find on various planets, take it out of the ground and stuff. Large prefabs, small prefabs, tech modules, transport modules, aquatic stuff for if you want to build under, under the water. Posters, that's new. Oh, that's cool. Flight path poster. And then decorative modules. A whole bunch of those, apparently. Spark plug. Interesting. Illumination, industrial modules, which we will use for doing uh, power, connecting power stuff together. Agriculture, timber structures, which is what you start the game with. And roofing, and stone, and stone, and alloy, and alloy. These are, some of these are new to me. Storage units, I think I do want that. Because the storage is uh, one of those quantum state things where if you put storage in one spot, you can take it out in another as long as you have the same box number in that spot. So large prefabs. This is one of the things that I really want. So I have three left. I have five left, and this one costs three to get a cylindrical room. So let's get a cylindrical room. There we go. Now we got to talk to Nada again. So then we got some starship research. Right, and these take nanites as well, and these are upgrades. Hmm. Is there anything I want to spend this on just now? Instability drive. Interesting. Large rocket tubes. I, th I think we're all right for now on that. Ah, weapons. Weapon terminal. So that's this weapon here. If we compare it with our current one, this is obviously better. But I can't afford it just now. I don't have enough money. But I will want one eventually. We're going to run out of room on our current one. Let's research some upgrades. Here we go. Waveform recycler. Improves the scanning system speed. Okay. Optical drill. For more. Increase the yield. We have the bolt caster already researched. But do we have a bolt caster? Let me see. I do not have a bolt caster installed. And I don't have enough room for, for that, really. I have room for just one more thing. And I think I want that to be my advanced mining thing in Majiggy which we do have somewhere already. We already we already have the ability to make that, I think. Let's see. Bolt caster advan yeah, advanced mining lasers laser is the thing we really want. Hmm. Let's move you over there. Move you there, move you there, and then we're gonna do. We're gonna. We'll have to got, get these things to do it, but that, but now it's there. Okay. Learn new product recipes. Oh, fun! I don't remember seeing this before. Okay, well, microprocessors would be good to have at some point, and the Atlas Pass. That's one that I want, definitely. 
we need to get some copper for that. Exocraft, which we aren't able to do yet. I mean, we could get jump ahead of the gun, but we don't need to. You're just going to stand there all day, aren't you? Alright. They drift between worlds and worlds. Ask what to do. Find Artemis. Explore. And be cool, you know? Let's uh, ask for help. With our Ooh, even if you seek the Crimson Liar. Oh, that's Atlas, I think. Let's ask about that. Crimson Liar. False Entity. Atlas. Corvax worship, but not a knows better. Not a knows where it dwells. Not a chooses to disregard it. But if Traveler Entity wishes to seek it, Nada will help. Nada wishes you to be safe. Seek the Atlas. It will be marked on your map. Always welcome here. Excellent. Alright. There we go. These are the three things. But we really want to do this first. We want to go to the base computer archives. You can see there on the left-hand side, people are doing missions, joining missions, leaving missions, creating missions. I don't know where the mission uh, console is. I've never been there, but that's okay. Yay! Okay, well, we've, we've got the chart. Let's do this chart. Nope, oh, nope. How about we do it correctly? There we go. Plot root. Ancient ruin. Oh, it's down there. Oh, there's a message. Oh, all the things are happening once. Here we go. Where? Is there anyone out there? It's outside. It. Something's wrong with... Identify yourself. There we go. Tell him I can hear him. The only sound is the background hiss of radiation. You found me. There's so little light, I thought I'd never hear another soul again. How did you find my voice? I found a crashed ship. It's outside, but I think I'm safe. There are 16 of them. They look just like... It's about 16, because we've seen that 16 number before. Fear and confusion dance within the eyes of the stranger. You don't know who you are, do you? You... It lied to me. It lied to all of... Fades into nothingness. Okay, we need to find a way to boost their signal. All right, so we'll we'll get that objective at some point. It's it's there now, but we can switch to it later. Great thing about No Man's Sky is that shit waits for you. So we're gonna go do this. Uh, I'm gonna go to that ancient ruin. Oh, I gotta get away from this uh, station first. Have I been to everywhere here? Yes, it looks like I've seen all these there. Okay. Oh. Okay. That was telling me where where at, the atlas, the introduction to Atlas. There it is. There's that ancient site. All right, so there's some things in the ground we gotta get. Key. Should get a few of these. There 
There's another one. Another one. What else we got? It's gravitino balls around. Those are dangerous to carry. They're they're valuable-ish, but as soon as you pick one up, the sentinels come for you. They don't like you messing with gravitino balls. I don't need that many of these keys. There's uh should be a spot. Are they down here? It is. Wow, okay. That's gonna make me detected. There they come, here they come, here they come. I gotta get out of their way. Oh shit, they're doing it at ground level? Oh, they've never done that before. Holy crap, that is a new one to me. Oh, this is so much cooler than it used to be. Got rockets. Recharge my shields. Got you. more interceptors. Oh no. How do I make them stop? Or make them go away? I guess I have to land maybe? Oh damn. This is not good. Alright. I, I kind of had a feeling this was going to happen. They never give up. If you keep killing them, they will keep coming. Well, I have a way of getting out of here. Yes, okay. Well, we've lost track of the ancient site, but that's all right. That is okay. We'll find some more. That Gravitino ball, man. Shit went from zero to 11 real fast.
At least we now have some keys. We have five ancient keys and a Gravitino ball, which we can sell. So let's go onto the space station. Sell that. And then uh, head to our own base for the base computer stuff. And then that will be the end of the episode. It used to be uh, that you had to get out of the atmosphere before the, the flying sentinels would attack you. Now it looks like as soon as you get into your ship and go and, and, and launch, then they come at you at that point. Which is honestly a better a better thing because you was there was an easy it was very easy to cheese the ground sentinels by getting into your into your ship and then just sort of flying away a little bit. And then they wouldn't find you. So I mean that was what I was attempting to do, and then nope, no man's sky has thwarted me, which I'm I'm quite happy about. Alright, let's go ahead and sell the Gravitino Ball. I think that's good. We don't need the Pyrite. Don't need the Solanium right now. That should do it. Alright, now we're going to go to our base over there. This is in another system, but this teleporter will get us there. It will also bring our ship right down alongside us. There we are. All right. That's our stuff. Linto dud. Yeah, so there's our ship. There's the teleporter. You can always arrive even if there's no power, but I will need to get power in there in order to use it on the way out. Oh, I made some money. Okay. Archive recovery. Data recovered, 6%. Search the archives. Found additional buried technology modules. Construction proceeding smoothly. Recent expedition yielded. Copying data to... Okay, let's search the database here. Downloading plans. Personal upgrade module synthesized from data scraps. Okay, now we can... Yeah, now it's saying... Oh, let's uh, go upgrade module acquired. Yeah, where is it? There. Oh, the mining beam module. It's an upgrade. Oh, come on! I don't have enough room. Okay, well we'll hang on to it. Let's see if we can go ahead and. Uh, Build the storage. Where's the uh, structures? Timber structures. There we go. Storage container. What does that take? Magnetized ferrite.
What did we get out of that? Nanites. Okay. Let's uh, deploy ourselves the refiner. We're going to put in the ferrite dust. Because what we want to make is a storage container which requires 35 magnetized ferrite. And once I put that storage down, we'll go ahead and close out the episode. Excellent. There we go. All right, let's see where we can stick you. Uh, put you somewhere where it's obvious what's going on. All right, we'll put you right over. I uh, can't put you on top there. Okay, let's. Uh, right here's good. Oh, crap. I forgot it needs power. Oh well, uh, let's uh, let's go wire you up. Can I reach it that far? Yes. No. Dang it. delete you. I've forgotten how to delete you. Delete. Delete. There we go. That's how we do it. Now we gotta go back all the way over here. Connect you. This is so dumb that I did it this way. There we go. Now, if I want to use my storage, I'm going to build a better base somewhere else. I, I promise. This is ridiculous. What goes in here? Carbon. Alright, now you're on. Now I'm going to run all the way back over here again. I'm going to put this module in there. Put the keys in. Let's put these thingies in there as well. That should do it for now. Yeah. All right. Let's go back here. Oh, I didn't want to fuel it for that long. Oh, is there no way to turn that off? Oh, well. Well, it's there now. Going to need to get some more carbon, I guess. But that is the problem for another day. I'm going to get in here, come out and save, and call it. Thanks for watching. See you next time.